2025 Dubai Air Show delivered many announcements, but none generated as much discussion as the unexpected reveal inside the Russian pavilion. Without warning, without any media buildup, and without staged leaks, Russia presented a highly detailed mock-up of a brand new stealth nozzle intended for the Su-57. Just a rear section, no full airframe, no flying demonstrator, a single compact component, but one precise enough to instantly capture the attention of military analysts worldwide. This choice, surprising and almost theatrical, amplified the overall shock. Russia did not attempt to impress with a full aircraft rollout or a dramatic prototype reveal. Instead, it chose to display one structural element, but a component revealing enough to indicate a major evolution in its fifth-generation fighter program. From the very first minutes, it became clear that this model was no simple PR exercise. Observers, engineers, and specialists immediately noticed significant differences between this design and the previously known version. The edges were sharper, the shape flatter, and the overall impression was one of technical modernization not yet associated with the current Su-57 production models. Presenting it in Dubai was no accident. The air show attracts delegations from strategic regions where fighter jet purchases directly influence geopolitical balance. For Russia, it was the ideal opportunity to demonstrate that, despite international pressure, its aerospace industry continues to advance according to a stable and deliberate roadmap. And it chose to highlight this through a nozzle, an extremely revealing choice. Because a nozzle modification is never a minor update. It is one of the most complex and sensitive components of a modern fighter engine. Its shape, geometry, materials, and integration directly determine the thermal signature, radar signature, engine efficiency, supercruise performance, and even the aircraft's maneuverability. In other words, altering the nozzle means altering the heart of the aircraft. The model displayed by Russia was compact, but every panel was aligned with remarkable precision. Each angle looked like the result of long, careful engineering. This level of finish, far from experimental or early-stage work, is typical of pre-production prototypes or finalized technical concepts. Nothing looked provisional. Everything suggested a stable, validated design likely intended for future Su-57 production batches. As soon as the images circulated, one detail stood out. The new nozzle was significantly flatter. Not a subtle tweak, not a cosmetic refinement, a complete reorientation of the Su-57's rear aspect stealth philosophy. The surface featured polygonal, multi-angled structures clearly aimed at reducing radar reflections from the rear, long considered one of the aircraft's vulnerabilities. With today's highly networked detection systems, rear stealth is now essential. Modern radars no longer attack only from the front. They operate in distributed arrays, scanning from multiple angles and frequencies, capable of exposing even minor reflections. For any aircraft claiming fifth-generation stealth status, ignoring the rear sector is no longer viable. Russia, with this model, shows it understands this shift perfectly. But stealth is only part of the equation. Thermal management plays an equally critical role. Modern infrared-guided missiles are far more advanced than their predecessors. They no longer look solely for massive heat sources. They analyze the overall heat pattern, the shape of the exhaust plume, and subtle energy variations. In this context, the new nozzle's structure appeared denser, more enclosed, and clearly designed to reduce direct engine heat emissions. This configuration resembles infrared suppression technologies seen on certain specialized aircraft, rarely implemented so aggressively on a non-Western fifth-generation fighter. If this design meets its objectives, the Su-57 could display a significantly reduced heat signature compared to current production units, an essential advantage in long-range engagements where every millisecond of delayed detection can dictate survival. Another key element supporting the strategic importance of this reveal is the Isdelia 30 engine. This engine, still undergoing progressive testing, represents the next evolutionary step for the Su-57 program. It promises more thrust, improved fuel efficiency, reduced weight, and optimized supercruise capability. Any nozzle modification designed to pair with the Isdelia 30 becomes a strong indicator of the program's true level of maturity. An engine's performance is tightly connected to its nozzle's shape and behavior. 
a new geometry can improve or degrade efficiency. It can increase or reduce thrust. It can enhance or hinder supercruise. This component must perfectly match the internal requirements of the power plant. If the nozzle displayed in Dubai is indeed the final version planned for the Isdalia 30, it would mean Russia has reached an advanced stage in the engine's development. It would also imply the nation is preparing to cross a decisive threshold, serial production of a fully matured version of the Su-57. At the midpoint of the video, viewers are reminded to subscribe to Jet Rotor in order to support detailed reports like this one. Russia appears to be maintaining a delicate balance between stealth, agility, and engine power, a philosophy visible since the earliest stages of the Su-57 program, where Western fighters often prioritize one dominant trait, frontal stealth for the F-35, all aspect stealth for the F-22, long-range sensors and autonomy for the J-20. The Su-57 seeks to combine multiple advantages, a respectable stealth, exceptional maneuverability, innovative multi-band sensors, and high operational flexibility. In this context, the new nozzle becomes a crucial link in a logical evolution. Its flattened geometry reduces radar reflections. Its denser structure lowers infrared emissions. Its tighter integration reshapes thermal flow to complicate detection by modern sensors. Even as a static mock-up, its impact has been powerful enough to spark a wave of expert analyses worldwide. Specialists agree on one point. Russia would not have presented this model publicly unless the design had reached a stable, near-final stage. The 2025 Dubai Air Show has therefore served as a clear signal. The Su-57 program is not on pause, not struggling, and not slowing down. It is advancing, perhaps slowly, but steadily. And this new nozzle is the most tangible proof so far. Russia demonstrates that it remains capable of innovating despite the current geopolitical environment. It continues to develop long-term projects, bring them to completion, and showcase them internationally. The Su-57's modernization sends a strategic message. The country intends to maintain credible technological presence within the global competition of next-generation fighters. This nozzle is not a minor technical detail. It shapes the aircraft's thermal signature, it shapes its radar signature, it influences engine efficiency, it affects supercruise behavior, it even impacts survivability in both close-range and long-range combat. It is a key component that can by itself shift tactical balance. Modern air combat demands aircraft that are increasingly difficult to detect, and Russia seems to have directed a significant portion of its development effort into reducing rear aspect signatures, an area long considered secondary, now critical in the era of multi-static radars and distributed detection networks. Through this evolution, one conclusion becomes unavoidable. The Su-57 is not a static aircraft. It is a platform in continuous transformation and this new nozzle is its most visible evolution so far.